Welcome to part 2 of where we turn this, into this finished fursuit. And hello, I'm Mugiwara Cosplay, a fursuit maker and cosplay crafter. Last time we modeled the base and eyes, and printed them. Now it's time to line and fur the base. I also added magnets for removable eyelids. Measure and cut upholstery foam pieces to fit the inside of your fursuit head base. Use a hot glue gun to securely attach the foam pieces inside the head base. Ensure they are evenly distributed for comfort and stability. Create a pattern for the lining by covering the inside of the head base with tape. Do the other half of the lining pattern on the mannequin head. Cut the fabric according to your pattern, leaving a bit of extra fabric for seam allowance. Sew the lining pieces together using a sewing machine or hand stitching. and then glue the lining on the head base. To make sure the fursuit head stays comfortable on and doesn't slide down, elastic band straps are needed. Cut two as shown and sew together. And glue them on the head base. Remember to add ears too, they can be made out of upholstery foam. Now for the furring. Lay out strips of tape in the shape of the fur pieces needed for your fursuit head. This will serve as your sewing pattern. Trace out and mark the different color patterns. Trace fur fabric pieces using the tape patterns. Before cutting, the fur can be shaved now to save time later on, but it's a preference. Cut your fur fabric using the tape patterns. Be sure to cut on the back side of the fabric to avoid damaging the fur fibers. Sew the fur pieces together with a sewing machine or by hand. But for the face I only hand sew, to make the seams less visible. For the hair I cut strips of long fur fabric. Then I used a brush without plastic ends on the teeth, this is important or else this won't work. And then I brushed the backing of the fur fabric. This will pull some of the fur fibers through the backing.
It takes a bit of time but creates a great effect. Then I hand sewed the pieces together as shown. And sewed them to the base fur. Since this head will have a slim neck we will also add a zipper. Which gets hand sewn on with a whip or blanket stitch. This head was going to be a noodle dragon so I made whiskers too. First I cut two long pieces of fur and sewed into tubes. And turned them inside out. Then I glued some thick fabric around metal wire. and stuffed them inside the fur tubes. And hand sewed on the face fur. Use a hot glue gun to carefully glue the fur onto the head base. Work section by section, ensuring a secure bond. Be cautious not to over glue, as excessive glue can add weight and affect the fursuit's comfort. Sew the fur to the mouth lining with a ladder stitch. I wanted removable horns so I added two magnets. Sew the back piece on the top as shown. and continue gluing the rest on. If the fur on the face is still too long you can now trim the rest for a nice finish. Thin lines of felt around the eyes. horns with magnets. And then the tongue. Cut pieces of fabric for the tongue in a color that complements your fursuit design. Sew the fabric into a tongue shape, leaving one end open. Cut the excess fabric away. Turn it inside out, and sew a short line on the middle. Add a tiny bit of stuffing. I wanted this to be a removable tongue so I also added a magnet. 
and then close the end with a whip stitch. Congratulations, we have now turned a 3D printed fursuit head base into a complete fursuit head. Remember that fursuit making requires patience and attention to detail, so take your time and enjoy the creative process. If you want to make your own cute dragon, I have the 3D print files on my shop, link is on the description below, along with the list of materials and tools for this. And this head is a part of a full suit, next part will be the hand paws but that's a topic for the next video. And if you are new here, I make a lot of tutorials on how to make fursuits and creature cosplays, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more. And also feel free to suggest more videos below in the comments. See you in the next video.